What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. It's not every day you get to step on board a 143 foot Expedition Super Yacht, but today we're gonna do exactly that. The yacht in front of us is an Oceanic 143 Tri-Deck. This yacht is presented by Canado's Yachts, so thank you to them for granting me access on board. We're currently at the Cannes Yachting Festival, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the specs once we make our way on board. but you'll see this really wide passerelle accompanying the massive swim platform. And you also have a really large garage down here. And this can be used for a smaller tender storage, although you do have a larger garage on the inside. And this can also be used just to store water toys or anything else you might need while exploring the world. Officially, this yacht is 142 feet and seven inches. It has a beam of 27 feet and a draft of surprisingly only six feet and 10 inches. So you can explore some pretty shallow areas on this one. You have a great range on board, but of, but of course we'll talk about that in a moment. We don't have a ton of information on this one, so we're gonna just kind of go through this as best as we can, but right here we do have a jacuzzi with some sun pads built in on either side. Here you have this gorgeous seating area. So you have the fireplace right in the middle. You have large storage chests on either side. So you can see one of them is open up right here. And then I'm gonna throw up a picture of this yacht's profile and you'll notice the superstructure is set pretty far forward on this one. So one of the things you'll get on this one, you have just a massive outdoor area. And then the engine room is actually, we'll see that of course later in the tour, but the engine room is located pretty far aft underneath here. So you do have a large tender garage underneath this area. You have side boarding gates. And then you'll see the controls for that garage actually, if you wanna open it up from up here. You can see those right down there. In the garage, the door will open up over the side and you can just crane your tender right out into the water. You'll see all these areas are covered by the sunshades. So these can be put up or taken down depending on how you want things configured. And then you'll see a massive alfresco dining area. Excuse me. So continuing with that theme of a lot of outdoor living areas, you and all your guests could have a meal out here. And this is partially covered by the hardtop overhead. And then over here, we have a bar area so the crew can serve these areas. So you see the refrigerators, the little cooktop, the sink, and then this hatch, this is how we'll get down to the engine rooms later on in the tour. Now we're gonna head inside this beautiful vessel. You'll see they're currently just propped open or set to be open, but you do have the power glass doors, which leads you to the main salon, which you can see is a beautiful area. You have the sofas flanking either side of this marble table, huge floor to ceiling windows, with the wood accents and the lighting as well. And then here you'll find the formal dining area. And there's also a large TV up on the wall. So, the owner's cabin is actually not located on the main deck. This is kind of where this area ends. We're actually gonna head down to the guest cabins first. And as we head down, you'll notice just how wide the staircase is. Let's head aft and check out the mirrored VIPs first.
You have a lot of that Italian design elements mixed in with the design, but it still feels somewhat traditional. So I think it's a pretty good blend of modern and traditional, if that makes any sense. But you'll have to let me know what you think of the styling in the comments below. Of course, you could customize this to your liking if you were ordering one brand new. You have some beautiful windows. And then I don't think I mentioned it earlier, the Oceanic 143, this is the flagship model of the Oceanic line from Canados. You're set up really well to travel the world in this one, and I'll talk about the impressive range characteristics later on in the tour. Suffice to say, you can really go anywhere on this one. You have the beautiful marble lined shower. And of course, your toilet and bidet. As well as a little set tee on this side. And then as mentioned, these two VIPs are mirrored. With the same marble in the shower. I don't think I mentioned it before, you do have TVs that pop up right here, as well as the built-in desk. I like the dual functionality of that. So, we have two singles on this one, but these are really good sized singles. Some boats, they do, you know, they squeeze them in a little bit and they call them singles, but these really are oversized singles. I love the accent lighting underneath the two beds. They also have a large panel of windows. Your closet, of course. TV is right here. And then, once again, these are mirrored. You have pocket doors for the en-suites. And those are the four guest cabins. Now you might be asking, well, where is the owner suite if you can't move forward anymore? And to answer your question, we'll head upstairs and we'll check out the private owner's apartment up here. If we turn facing aft, you'll see this hallway. You have a dressing table, a bunch of storage, and then in lieu of a sky lounge, you have this gorgeous owner suite. So obviously being this high up on the yacht, you have a tremendous view out of these large windows. You can see the can landscape back there. You have storage built in on the walls, of course. This is your walk-in closet. And then you walk through to the private owner's ensuite, of course. So you have this large stand-up shower Your double vanity then of course you're gonna have the toilet and bidet behind the door and you also have a soaking tub and we're gonna head out the other door but forward of this you do have an exit right out of the ensuite but we'll take the other door but just as a little sneak peek you do have a private owners for deck on this one So let's check that out before we see the aft deck. So you can see your private little oasis out here. You have the sun pads with the built-in backrests that are adjustable. 
and then two little seating areas on either side. Let me give you another view of the Cannes Yachting Festival. If you're enjoying this Oceanic 143 so far, make sure you like the video. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is Tony. I post a new yacht or super yacht tour every single week and any type of engagement, whether it's a like, comment, you name it, whatever it is, that helps pump out the channel to a greater audience, so I always appreciate that. And you'll see these sliding glass doors. These are also powered, but they can slide all the way across. So look at, let me move this curtain. Look at this beautiful opening between your stateroom and the private aft deck. You have a teak table right here. Then stepping further back, we have some storage. And then this is just freestanding furniture. You could arrange this however you want. You could also throw up sunshades overhead as well. That's what those poles are for. And then there is a staircase down to the aft deck that we started at. And then you can also see that what the tops of the sunshades look like. Obviously when these are down, you get a tremendous view of your extremely expansive aft deck area. We can kind of see if we move over to the side. There's tons of outdoor real estate. But we have one other deck to check out above us. This is the flybridge or the sun deck. We have docking stations on either side. Another sun pad area all the way forward. So you can see the other docking station over here. Keep getting distracted but hey what a beautiful landscape anyways you can see these two glass windows and you might be wondering what's inside here but don't worry we're gonna check it out right now here we have the built-in sauna and this area is really cool check this out you have the rainfall shower then the bench that wraps all the way around and this entire area is the sauna. So it's really cool. You have the jacuzzi all the way on the aft deck, the sauna up here on the sun deck. And then to go along with it, we have some deck furniture. And there's also a bar area back here for the crew to once again serve drinks in this area. So you can see you have an ice maker and the sink right there. You have the built-in bar stools and then this flap opens up and there's a door and then you have the refrigerator on the other side. Of course, you're going to notice the camera up here. Obviously, these yachts are incredibly secure. They have camera systems all over the place for the safety and security of the guests, of the owners, and of the crew, of course. So that is the sun deck. We still have a few more areas to check out. Lots of neat little places to go on this one. I'll give you one more look at the owner suite. You have to let me know these materials in here. You have the exotic woods. All right, let's head down this staircase. And this will lead us back to that expansive aft deck. So you have full side decks, of course. And these, I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you, but if you can't tell, these are really thick. But I like how it cuts away a little bit right here. So you do get a really beautiful view out the windows that helps with the natural light in the view. And of course, the stainless steel guardrails are gonna be very thick and very secure on a super yacht like this. But if you continue on all the way around, you have side access doors to the helm station. And then you'll see the little sun pad area up here on the foredeck with the bell. And then for the crew, of course, you have your anchor equipment. If 
you do have some storage underneath this section. And then here's an outside preview shot of the helm station. I think we're actually going to head around on the opposite side and make a full 360. As mentioned, here is the second door to the helm station. You have one on each side. And, oh, and there's also a little entrance right here. But we'll do the full walk around because I like to show off every area we can and it'll give you another view of the main salon. So here's that view. And then we saw everything on this side, but we still have to head over to the other side. You have a day head right here. And then now through this door, we're entering the crew area. Here was that second door we saw on the outside. This leads to the galley. So you can see a Mila induction cooktop. Then everything has this high-end stainless steel finishes and then the gray lacquered finish. And then, of course, you're going to have the wall of freezers and refrigerators. But I like how they finish them to just look like the regular storage panels. stepping forward. First, here is the captain's cabin. So it's a pretty spacious room. And his ensuite is right here. His or her ensuite, I should say. But even the captain on this one has a rainfall shower. So pretty nice finishes in here. And then the closet is behind the door. But stepping even further forward, here is the helm station. Let's move all the way to the side. Yeah, some really nice captain's chairs. Then of course, all of the controls for the super yacht. You have Furuno screens, and these are truly, these, these are huge screens. You have your radar. Then you're also going to have the little, the little office space for the captain over here, as well as some of the electrical panels. And then of course, you have a bench for some of the crew or the guests if they want to see what's going on up in this area. And I didn't show it before because there was a stew using it. <laughs> this yacht is actively crewed, of course, but you do have a little stew pantry area right here. So you have drinks readily available as well as an ice maker, refrigerator, that type of stuff. And then down this staircase is where we'll find the crew area. Here's a quick shot of the crew mess. We have the control panel, TV up on the wall, and it's finished pretty nicely down here as well. And then we'll just show you one of the crew cabins. And then here you can see one of the bunk rooms for the crew. It has their closet right here. And then their ensuite as well. And this one also has the rainfall shower. Thank you so much. 
and then not shown just a little bit further of that mess. You have two more bunk rooms. So, still plenty to see. You can see once again, this massive outdoor area. I'll give you another shot of the jacuzzi. And we'll even do a quick shot down here on the swim platform. You can see they have a sea bob out on display. And then if we tuck this camera underneath, here is a shot of that storage area. And this could also be used, of course, as a beach club if you wanted to. But, I mean, let's be real, you have so much outdoor space already. But obviously, it's your yacht. You do whatever your preference is. So, down this massive door, we're gonna head down to the engine room. First, here's a shot of that garage we talked about in the beginning. So, you have this huge door that will hinge out, and then the crane system, that's how you bring in and bring out the tender. And then behind that, you have plenty of storage they also actually added some decent sized windows here. So that's a nice little touch. And if we back out of this space, we're gonna step, it might be a little noisy in here, so I apologize. But through this door is the engineering space. So with the bonding system, you can monitor everything on board the ship. all of the different systems for the chief engineer to monitor. And then through this door is the engine room. And you have three different engines on this one. Check this out. So, as mentioned, three different engines. So these three engines are Caterpillar C32 B series engines rated at 2,400 horsepower. You have a top speed of pretty impressively at 24 knots. You can cruise at 20 knots. And if you drop your speed down to displacement speeds at 10 knots, you'll get 3,600 nautical miles. Then you also see the massive generators on each side. And now that it's a little quieter here, I did want to mention some of the other range estimates because this yacht is an expedition yacht, you can really push it depending on your speed. So we cited the 3,600 nautical miles at 10 knots, but if you drop it down to eight knots, you'll actually get 6,150 nautical miles. And at 16 knots or so, you'll get about 950 to 1,000 nautical miles. So it really depends on how hard you're pushing it with this one, but it's a pretty impressive top speed for a yacht of its size. We'll head on to the side deck. Thank you so much to Canado's Yachts for granting me access on board. I hope you all really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this one in the comment section down below, and we will catch you next time.